Hey Dinks, can you do a video on the qualifications to be an apostle? Acts 1, 21 through 22, and teach your pastor based on 1 Timothy 3, 2. Well, so first off, don't get the idea of an apostle confused with a pastor. They are two separate roles. An apostle is a pastor of pastors. They're the ones that guide the church in a greater role. Now, the qualifications in 1 Timothy are for what's called an overseer, or some translations say bishop, which is the equivalent of a pastor. You are correct on that. But let's go ahead and take a look. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up, one of these must become with us a witness to his resurrection. So the word apostle literally means somebody who has witnessed the resurrection and can guide the church. That's what they're looking for. Now, a witness of the resurrection doesn't mean they literally saw Jesus raised from the dead. Nobody saw him actually rise from the dead. They all saw him after his resurrection, which is why Paul can be included with that. The apostles have a much higher standard they have to hit. They literally have to be a witness to the resurrected Christ. So while I do believe there are people who have an apostolic gifting, where they can be a pastor of pastors, as Timothy was here, if you're going to carry around a card that says apostle or put apostle on your TikTok name, you better have literally seen the resurrected Christ.